Hi, my name is Ashok. I am from Phoenix Training Institute. We are providing free classroom training in Mumbai for uh, one entire month for CFA aspirants so that they themselves can decide if they wish to continue this certification. Please feel free to contact us for uh, further details. Thank you. This video is to understand how to calculate hedge fund fees and investors return and investors return so you know we will be learning some of the terms used in the hedge fund industry pertaining to their fees uh, let's do with an example let's say uh, there is asset under management opening opening asset under management that means your fund is there let's say with 100 million dollar so 100 is the opening amount now this fund uh, after one year after one year it reaches to 130 reaches to 130 and management fee is management fee is equal to two percentage calculated based on uh, calculated calculated based on based on uh, opening opening asset under management so you have to check the question whether it is opening assets under management or uh, based on uh, closing assets under management okay it will be given in the question but in this case i am taking opening assets under management then uh, incentives or performance fee incentive fee incentive fee or performance fee performance fee is equal to 20 percentage calculated calculated based on uh, based on soft hurdle rate soft hurdle rate based on soft hurdle rate and uh, net of management fee so what is this we will come to know when, when we do the sum net of management fee okay so let's do this sum now so initially it was 100 then it reached to 130 in a year's time then uh, i have not mentioned about hurdle rate so let's say hurdle rate is 10 percentage hurdle rate is equal to 10 percentage so here now 100 is reached to 110 now we need to first of all calculate the management fee so management fee is calculated based on opening assets under management as per the question but i am going to calculate this at the end only the only thing is i am going to calculate based on the opening assets under management so so at the end when i calculate so it will be 100 into 2 percentage management fee that is equal to 2 so here this is the management fee 2 okay so this is management fee 2 is the management fee so now the next question is how to calculate the um, how to calculate the um, incentive fee now incentive fee in order to be eligible for the incentive fee the fund manager has to cross the minimum hurdle rate so that hurdle rate over here is 10 percentage so if he crosses this 10 percentage which comes to 100 10 percentage comes to 110 if he crosses this hurdle rate only then he will be eligible for the uh, incentives okay so in this case he has crossed 110 and reached 130 so he is eligible for the uh, for the uh, incentives now the question is uh, whether i will calculate you know and give incentives uh, based on 130 minus 110 or 100 uh, 130 minus 100 so here comes soft hurdle rate so because it says soft hurdle rate i will be calculating incentives right from the beginning that is 100 100 to 130 that is called soft hurdle rate if i calculate from 130 to 110 it is hard hurdle rate which is not there in the question so i will go for soft hurdle rate okay so soft hurdle rate uh, yeah so now soft hurdle rate 
so that means now here also it is it says net of management fee now because it says net of management fee so i am going to calculate this after calculating management fee uh, management fee i am going to calculate the incentives after calculating management fee so that means for me it is not 130 it is 128 so 128 minus 100 comes to uh, so 128 so in order to calculate incentive fee 128 minus 100 comes to 28 from this 28 only i am going to pay 20 percentage so 28 into 20 percentage comes to 5.6 5.6 so that means at the end the amount that the investor will have in his hand is uh, 130 minus 2 paid for the management fee equal to 128 from here again minus 5.6 so 128 minus 5.6 comes to 122.4 investor will have this much of uh, uh, money at the end okay so management fee is 2 in this case and incentive fee is 5.6 so overall fees that they have been charged is 2 plus 5.6 comes to uh, 7.6 okay 2 plus 5.6 comes to 7.6 and when you reduce 7.6 from 130 you will get 122.4 okay so now the investors return will be then investors return investors return will be 122.4 he has after investing 100 minus 1 so it comes to uh, 122.4 divided by 100 then minus 1 then I'll convert it into percentage multiply by 100 I get 22.4 percentage so the return that investor has got in this case is 22.4 percentage okay now let's just do another sum you know where I use little different words and then you know little different words like instead of uh, so soft hurdle rate you know here I use soft hurdle rate I will use hard hurdle, hurdle rate in the next sum and then instead of net management fee i'll use gross management fee in the next sum and then let's see how it goes and instead of opening assets under management i'll use uh, closing assets under management so let's do another sum let's say assets under management opening is uh, 100 million then after one year after one year it reaches to 130 million and management fee uh, let me write in the same order so management fee two percentage calculated based on as based on opening assets under management so i'll write here closing assets under management so management fee two percentage uh, two percentage this is per annum calculated based on uh, closing or ending ending assets under management okay management fee so this is closing or ending assets under management uh, then incentive fee 20 percentage calculated based on soft hurdle and net of management fee so incentive fee incentive fee also called performance fee calculated based on uh, calculated based on so this time i will use hard hurdle and gross of management fee based on hard hurdle rate and gross of management fee i can also write this as independent of management fee independent independent of management fee independent of 
मैनेजमेंट फी देन हर्डल रेट टेन परसेंटेज सो आई कीप द सेम हर्डल रेट टेन परसेंटेज हर्डल रेट टेन परसेंटेज सो हाउ डू आई कैलकुलेट दिस सो लेट्स डू दिस सम नाउ हंड्रेड हैज रीच टू टू हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी एंड द हर्डल रेट इज टेन परसेंटेज दैट कम्स टू हंड्रेड एंड टेन सो so this time also hurdle rate is crossed and that means the fund manager is eligible for the incentives now before that let's calculate the management fee management fee is 2 percentage based on closing assets under management so 2 percentage here comes to 130 into 2 percentage comes to 2.6 so 2.6 is the management fee and then the next one is uh, hard hurdle rate uh, incentive fees based on hard hurdle rate uh, 20% 20% is the incentive fee so incentive fee will be 130 minus 110 130 minus 110 that is equal to 20 from this 20 20% i am supposed to uh, calculate that is equal to so 20 into 20% will come to 4 so 4 is my incentive fees in this case so total fees is equal to that is paid is equal to 2.6 as the management fee and plus 4 as the incentive fee so that is equal to 6.6 so 6.6 is paid so that's why at the end the fund will have so closing assets under management after fees closing assets under management after fees will be equal to 130 minus 6.6 that comes to 123.4 123.4 okay 123.4 so now if i have to calculate investors return investors return is equal to so closing value is how much 123.4 and he invested 100 minus 1 so 123.4 divided by 100 minus 1 so it comes to 23.4 percentage okay i can convert it into percentage it comes to 23.4 so these are different different ways to calculate these are the words that you need to focus on which are those uh independent of management fee gross of management fee hurdle rate hard uh hard hurdle rate uh cal calculated based on closing assets under management or um uh, based on you know this soft hurdle rate net of management fee opening assets under management these are the keywords you need to focus on in order to calculate this sum. Thank you.